Okay, this is my video for G220 Ministries. Okay, this dude, you suck. And when I talk about you suck, your theology sucks. It's vomit, it's trash, along with the majority of the world. Yes, I don't have it all together either, but I have overcame the wicked one. So I got that on my side, which it, it speaks in prophecy that this is true. The majority of the world are going to go down that broad, wide path that leads to destruction. That gate is another word for it. There's only one gate. That's Yahshua. Jesus, if you don't know his real name, is the gate. We are supposed to pay attention to his words and obey his words. But you make little and you make void his words so you can follow another, which is the very thing he told you not to do. Even if somebody comes in his name proclaiming to follow me as I follow Christ. No, we're not supposed to follow anyone. That's why he warned us ahead of time that they're going to come in his name. That's how the devil leads you astray. Y'all think the devil's dumb. Okay. You think the devil didn't outsmart you, but he did because you haven't kept your eyes and ears on God. You don't understand what he's saying. Okay. Anyways, I guess uh, him and Seiko got this little thing going on. And you know what? I don't agree with either one of them, but I have more respect for Seiko because at least he's not ignorant enough to fall for John MacArthur and Marcus Trash, okay? He might not have, you know what? It says even the, the, the elected will be deceived by this one, okay? The, the one Shiol saw, which... If you go look in Paleo Hebrew, Shaw and Sial is exactly the same in Paleo Hebrew. There's a reason Saul was named after death. And even if you want to say, oh, but his name was Paul. Paul means um, what? Small? Least? Actually, Paul means least. What do y'all should say about least? He said those that do and teach his commandments, even the least of his commandments, will be called great in heaven. And those that don't will be called what least? That's Paul, okay? Doesn't mean he's gonna make it. It's just when you're talking about him, he's gonna be mentioned as the least, okay? He is the least, just like, um, you know, what's least on earth today. So anyways, this was my response to him. Seiko might be fooled with the majority of the world about Saul slash Shaol, but at least he can recognize Marcus and John are both fraud. I like how Seiko is bold enough to expose the fake. This is why he might actually come to the truth one of these days. According to the word of God, which people love to ignore, there is only one teacher and only one father, period. And you don't believe me? Here it is. But you, and he, listen, he's talking to his disciples and apostles right now, okay? So when everyone wants to lean on the apostles as, as if they had total understanding, no. He even when they were with them, they didn't understand half the stuff. And a lot of them, it took their whole life to grasp what he meant. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all brothers note this this is very important because there's a prophecy about these brothers and call no man your father on earth period no man okay no man it, 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 he didn't say except the ones that come in and in, 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 in preach a false gospel then you could say that they begot you through their polluted gospel yeah that's the father of lies baby that's who that is for you have one father who is in heaven, neither be called instructors. Man, he's given us so much clues, which I ain't listened to and none of it. For you have one instructor, the Christ, the Messiah. Okay, there's only, there's only one. Okay, so how is my theology whack when I'm, I'm simply quoting and believing the word of God over man, okay? Even the elected apostles were not teachers, instructors, or masters. So y'all might want to focus more on what the Yahshua say than what were the opinions of the brothers. And there's so much scripture to back this up, y'all. Because their understanding can become your stumbling block. In fact, Peter was named after a stumbling block. They're like, his name means rock. It sure does. It means like a small stone, a pebble. If you really research his name and then Cephas, 
what they called him, that literally meant a man idol, okay? A stone man, which is making a man your idol. And anybody you make your idol is going to become your stumbling block. Doesn't matter what or who it is. Anything you make your idol is going to cause you to stumble, point blank, period. Notice, Yahshua called all the disciples and apostles brothers. According to Yahweh, Most High, all the brothers have taught your tongue to speak lies. All of them. Jeremiah 9, 4 through 5. Go look that up. Every last one of them. Those are the brothers. Which is actually, I think, a good thing to be a brother. But it doesn't mean we have complete understanding and know everything. We're supposed to depend on the word. The sheep don't follow the other sheep. The the sheep follows the shepherd. And there is only one good shepherd, period, for all these men calling themselves pastors and all this stuff. No, there's only one good shepherd. The best you can do is preach his word, what he taught you. You don't add your own understanding to it unless that comes from the Holy Spirit. And the majority of people don't have that. Or if they do, they haven't got to that level yet, which was also prophesied that very few would find life. Wide and broad is the path that leads to destruction. And guess what? Most of the people are going to go there. And narrow and I think strict is uh, the way to life. And few are going to find it. You got to find it. You got to dig for it. That's why in Matthew 13, 44, it's, he's telling you the kingdom of heaven is like a hidden, buried treasure. A man had to go dig for it. He had to give up everything for it. It wasn't no free gift, grace, lie. His, his mercy and his forgiveness is, yes, he'll do that. But you have to be willing to repent and give up everything for it. You don't understand what it means. You have to pick up your cross too. You don't know what that means. You have to be willing to lay down your life. Give up everything. Ain't nothing free. Go look up what it means free. It's the very opposite of free. Not everyone can be called that. And Luke 8, 21 tells you who his true family is. Those, and if you go research the words, are the ones that actually hear and do what the word of God is saying to do. And you're not doing it because he told you. He told you not to follow another. And what they perverted as stranger. Hold on, let me let me go there. Okay. This is why y'all ain't digging. You ain't digging. You ain't finding a stranger. What does this mean? However, no way not they will follow, but will flee from him because not they recognize. And then it here it goes, stranger again. This simply just means anyone else's voice, anyone the voice of. You're supposed to follow Yahshua, the word of God manifested in the flesh, not another. He said he was going to test you through these other people. Go read 1 Kings 13 and, and, and maybe that'll open your eyes. What they perverted as stranger to try to hide the truth from us simply means belonging to another. So are you saying that Pharisee Paul was... uh? Was the word of God manifested in the flesh? He didn't even come in the name of God. That's why he was a liar, Romans 3, 7. Go read the prophecy about that. He's an abomination. He literally equaled the abomination. Go read uh, Proverbs. Uh, is it uh, 16, 6 through 9 or 6, 9? Let me, you know what? Anyway, I want y'all to see. What they perverted as stranger is literally just meaning another man. They got it right here. Another man. Anyone else? Uh, Other men. Just anyone. You're not supposed to follow another. Oh, did he trick you because he said, follow me as I follow Christ? Did Yahshua not warn you that this man was going to deceive many, even his elected apostles? Hello. Who was around his elected apostles? Who's the one that came in the wilderness proclaiming to have seen a Christ? What did he say? He said when he returns every eye will see him in the same way when it uh lightning strikes here and it's shown here that's how it will be first of all Paul, Paul tells you the people that was with him didn't even see in fact he describes it as this bright light from heaven exactly how Yasha said Satan comes not in the flesh what did John tell you about um 
The Antichrist will deny that he came in the flesh because he's telling you he came like an angel of light. And then Paul himself tells you that the devil comes as an angel of light. That's how crafty. Do you want to know how subtle and crafty Satan is? Go read the letters of Paul. My ideology is not messed up. Yours is. And that's why you hide my comments because I got facts that you can't handle, baby. And then you want to say, I see your comment a lot, but your theology is whack and unbiblical. No, you just don't understand that the Bible fulfills prophecy. Zechariah 11, 15 through 17, the worthless, foolish shepherd that was blinded in his right eye, right eye that was prophesied to come after Yahshua and lead people astray. That's who your boy Shiol Paul is. The one that every man just stays on their butt. Guess what? My daddy believed in Paul too. And I'm going to tell you, he blew his brains out like less than six months ago because he refused truth. He, he Hosea 4, 6. It wasn't because it, it wasn't brought to him. It's because he refused it. And this is what you wanted to hide because I guess it just, you know what, if it makes too much sense, you don't want it to get out because you don't have anything to back it up, brother. I say, yeah, my theology is going according to the word of God and not putting my trust in the Pharisee that Yahshua warned of. Can you show me in the word? When I say the word, I'm talking about the word of God, where it says we are to follow a Pharisee. We're not even supposed to follow another. We're supposed to test everything according to his word, everything. So please show me where we are to follow a Pharisee that comes after him in the wilderness, proclaiming to see him. Did he not tell you over? Well, he, it's twice. It's twice. And I'll let you find it. But I would love to debate you on this because you, you don't want to touch me, baby, because I know the word. I will smash your false ideology or just piss you off because that's what most people do. They just get pissed off when they, when they can't explain. When they can't explain things, I'll ask you questions you won't be able to explain. How, how can you justify what you're doing when Yasha said not to do it? Okay, how, literally, he, this man tells you he's a liar. Why are you believing anything he says? Oh, is it because Peter called him brother? Oh, Peter, the one that was literally destined to be a stumbling block called him brother. The one Yeshua called Satan and said he did not have his mind on the things of Christ. Or no, I'm sorry, the things of God, but on the things of man. And even Peter, when he got old, because Yahshua prayed for him after he got old, and then he, uh, Yahshua prayed that he would, um, his faith would not fail. He eventually returned, and this is also in prophecy. And he, and he ended up testifying against the false apostle Paul. Okay, that's in Clementine homilies. Why don't you go research that? Because you want to act like you you like everything's in front of you, like you don't need to dig for the truth, like the scribes and the Pharisees didn't hide the truth from you. Matthew 23, 13. If you really pay attention to the word, then he'll lead you into all truth. But you're too busy making idols out of men. Anyway. That's what I said. Bet you can't do that. Yeah, please show me where Yahshua or the Father, any any of the true prophets said we are to follow the Pharisee that comes after him in the wilderness, proclaiming to see him. Because it says the very opposite. And it says when he comes, everyone will see him. So if anyone says they see him after he ascended to heaven, you know that that is the false Christ or false prophet. Either one, whether they lied about it or they really did see something that was the false Christ that they saw, a devil. OK, and, and, and he wasn't the only one. Muhammad was if you really if you really put your mind to use what Muhammad, Buddha, this Bala, this new thing people are worshiping. All these things have the same. The same thing happened. They all saw some something in the wilderness, in the desert, even Joseph Smith, that, that they think. They, they got enlightened by something in the desert. And now they're bringing a new gate, a new path. Okay? There's only one gate. And then, okay, what did I say next? You Can you show me in the word of God where it says we are to follow a Pharisee that comes after him in the wilderness proclaiming to see Yahshua? Bet you can't do that. I'm on that narrow path. So the majority of people will knock me that. 
that's a promise. Okay, Matthew uh, 7, 13 through 14. And where he says that they hated you, they're going to hate me. They're going to speak evil of you. They did, they they literally rejected him and you you don't know it but you're still rejecting him because you're rejecting his word you're nullifying his word and you're going off a man-made covenant built on lies and falsehood isaiah 28 read 15 through 19 okay shio go read it in paleo hebrew shio is saul this was all prophesied it all fulfilled prophecy so yes the history is true and the his and what the word tells us who to believe. He's letting us know who who the enemy is. That was the enemy that came behind him and sowed tears amongst the wheat and went away. Okay, that's who that is. But every time they speak evil of me, great is my reward. Then I put John ten five says the real sheep don't follow anyone else. That's the true definition for what they perverted as stranger. What the wicked scribes that Yasha warned of over and over again, translated as stranger to hide the truth from us exactly as he prophesied they would. He said that they shut in our faces, the kingdom of heaven, the scribes and the Pharisees. A lot of translations perverted that as to teachers of the law. No, these are the scribes, the ones that translated the Bible. Go look up what the word scribe means. And then I said, I actually dig for the truth. That's why I am one of the few, few that have found life. And that is his word. This is, this is a, this is John 10, 10, five. And I actually dig what they perverted as stranger just means simply another. You, you think it's okay to follow someone because they said, follow me as I follow Christ. Did Yahshua not tell us they were going to come in his name? And deceive many. Follow no man. You oh, if you're a real sheep, you follow him. You don't. The sheep aren't to follow the other sheep. The sheep aren't to follow the brothers. The sheep is to follow the shepherd. And there's only one good shepherd. So all these pastors out here, just like prophesied, are leading the sheep astray. They're what make up the beast, both head and tail. Go read Isaiah. Uh, I want to say nine. I, I'll list it up here. Go read that. The, that's that's the uh, Leviathan. That's the beast. The churches. The synagogues of Satan. The one that Sheol saw has infiltrated. This is why when he talked to Peter, he told Peter, you the little pebble, Peter. He's the foundation upon his foundation. He's going to build the church that the, I forgot how it's worth it. It says Hades. It's, it's Shiol will not infiltrate. I'm saying it wrong, but I'll list it up here. You're not supposed to follow another. If you're his real sheep, you will run from another. Oh, it's in the Bible. That's why I do it. Really, do you ignore the fact that he was from the tribe of Benjamin, the prophecy about the ravening wolf? Do you ignore the fact he was kin to King Herod? Do you ignore, ignore the fact that he said he planted and Yahshua said every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots? He said he planted Apollos water. Apollos is Apollyon, Revelation 9, 11. That is your king. You have the king of the abyss. Boy, I, I dare you. I dare you to uh, debate with me because I will shred your ideology to pieces. You will hate me probably because you won't be able to see. But still and yet, I'll make you, I'll give you questions you won't be able to answer. It will piss you off because you are going according to your fathers, what they have taught you. And there's only one father, your dads, your ancestors. They prefer to that word too. Anyway, I'm out. I dare, I dare you to debate me. I dare you to actually start seeking the truth. Because what I want more than anything is to expose the lie. So the true gospel can be preached. So Yahshua can hurry up and come back. Because as soon as the true gospel is preached to the entire world, that's the end.
And what people um, don't realize about the mark of the beast is people are already taking it because that mark is just simply a sign. The same as the sign of the covenant on our right hand and forehead. You don't know nothing about that or you would know what the mark really is. You're making a covenant with hell. And you don't know the difference because you don't know his word. Maybe you haven't got there yet. Ain't nothing new up under the sun. There ain't nothing new up under the sun. Nothing new. In fact, the word new is a perversion in itself. <laughs>